we're going to talk about the data validation in WordPress. So we're going to learn how to insert the data into WordPress database using prepare statement. Okay. Um, so let's learn about it. Okay. So WordPress actually provides us the global object variable WPDB. Uh, which is actually the instantiation of the WPDB class which is defined in WP includes WPDB.php so by default WPDB is instantiated to talk to WordPress database okay so you don't need to go ahead and instantiate the class of WPDB because the WPDB uh, global variable has already instantiated the class okay and um, to access the WPDB in your WordPress code, uh, all you have to do is just declare global WPDB and then you can access all the method of WPDB uh, class. So, you know, in this scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the method of the WPDB class, which is prepare method. And that's going to help us uh, insert the data into database uh, using prepare method. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so all data in SQL queries must be SQL escape before the SQL query is executed to prevent against the SQL injection attacks. The prepare method performs its functionality for WordPress which supports both sprint F like and V sprint like syntax. So just to tell you what these two functions are, these are actually PHP functions. So sprintf uh, it takes two parameters, format and then the argument. So if you take an example, uh, format will be this. So these two that you see uh, as percentage uh, D and percentage S. So percentage D uh, actually means or refers to integers. So which is why our this value is integer and percentage s refers to string so these are called placeholders you know percentage d and percentage s are called placeholders so when you echo a sprint f and you put this format which means if you put this string which have the placeholders percentage d and percentage s these values will be replaced by the next two values that you pass to this function so you're passing num which will be replaced by so the, uh, this placeholder will be replaced by num which is an integer that's why we're using d sign here and the dollar s uh, represent a string so this is going to re this whole thing this uh, dollar sorry uh, percentage s is going to be replaced by location so once you get the result you will get the result that there are five monkeys in the tree okay that's what the job of the sprintf is uh, actually it returns the formatted string and by replacing the uh, given values defined values in the function uh, by the placeholders okay sorry uh, replacing the placeholders with the given values okay similarly we have a v sprint f which also returns the formatted string but uh, usually uh, if you check v sprint f uh, it takes format and then your arguments this could be an array okay so here what we're doing is this is a placeholder that's and uh, percentage 04d and which is basically re representing the integer and then percentage 02d percentage 02d so this is going to explode which means it's going to break this uh, from this point which is uh, the hyphen and it's going to give us the result uh, it's actually replacing the uh, you know this with 0 over here and this with 0 1 over here okay so you can look into more details because this tutorial is not about these two functions this, I just wanted to give you some idea as to what these functions do before we begin okay uh, so the query pr parameter of prepare except sprint f like placeholder so our prepare uh, method is going to accept uh, the parameters like uh, placeholders in these two functions that we've just checked okay I've already explained to you that uh, you know the percentage s represent string percentage d represents integer and percentage f actually represent float formats although we're not going to use this format over here 
okay and these are called placeholders all percentage characters uh, include sql literal strings in like wildcards must be double escaped as percentage percentage and all of the percentage d percent f and percentage s are to be left unquoted in the query string so when we pass them we don't have to quote it we don't have to you know wrap them within quotes okay and um, and the percentage d placeholder only accept integers so you can't pass numbers that have comma values uh, via this so if you want comma values uh, then you need to use the uh, float one so percentage f as float instead okay so let's start uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this prepare method of the wpdb uh, class of wordpress so this wpdb super global allows us to access the prepare method of the wpdb class it takes three parameters it takes actually uh, minimum two parameters so first is your query whatever query you're doing and second is your value uh, and you can you know ask for a number of values here value one value two value three and so on so query is basically a string and an sql query that you wish to execute so query like insert into and things like that and value is basically are the values you want uh, to be substituted so you want the and uh, percentage d percentage f these placeholders should be replaced by these values so so you're going to understand it more when you look at the example so let's look at the example <coughs> so what we're doing is uh, here as it accepts these parameters uh, wpdb prepare statement as i've already explained query and then value when value two and so on so we are taking a variable query and we are putting this query into it insert into and this is our table name so wpdb post meta is going to you know be equal to uh, the WP post meta table into a WordPress so if you check this is the table that we are referring to so this value this is going to be giving us the value of the WP po underscore post meta table so we are saying insert into WP post meta table these are the uh, you know items we, uh, these are the column name uh, into which we need to insert the value so column name post ID post id meta key and meta value post id meta key and meta value and we need to insert the values which is um, percentage d percentage s and percentage s okay so we could have simply you know passed the values like 10 and harry's uh, ages and things like that over here directly but that way we are not really you know doing it in a more secure way so this is actually using prepare statement or prepare method uh, by doing this by going ahead and preparing a method in advance later on we can just pass the values into these variables and you know uh, it will be uh, the query will be performed later on so by doing this uh, by performing this method like preparing this statement in advance actually you know helps us uh, do a safe query to the wordpress so for security purposes and that's actually basically a part of the data validation process okay so we don't have to do anything prepare statement takes care of the validation itself so you don't need to do anything so all we have to do now is that we need to define three variables for these uh, which is value one value two value three this is your integer which will be representing this uh, then you have two string values which is this and this which is replaced by this okay so now we're going to do wpdb prepare uh, and then we're going to pass these parameters first is a query we're passing this query into this then we are passing the uh, the value 1 which is 10 value 2 Harriet ages and value 3 and this is the string we're passing okay so what's going to happen is that when we get this prepare query uh, this is going to be replaced you know in in this query in this query that we are doing uh, automatically this value will be replaced by value 1 because it's a integer that's why we're saying d this value is going to be replaced by value 2 and this part is going to be replaced by value 3 so into our query which is this query these three values will be replaced and this the result we get is also a query basically it's nothing but uh, this is going to give us insert into wpdb uh, underscore sorry wp underscore post meta post id 
and so on and so on and it's going to replace these values I'm going to show that to you so that you understand that just one moment All right, so let's echo out this, uh, you know, result which is derived from this prepare method. So when we echo that, we, I put that into my index.php of my theme. I'm just trying to echo that. See what has happened is it's resulting into insert into wp underscore post meta, post id meta key meta value. These are the column names values now. This part is replaced by ten. 10 which is value 1 and value 2 will be Harry's and so this part is going to this placeholder is going to be replaced by Harry's edges and you can see it's been escaped also so you don't have to worry and the next placeholder is replaced by value 3 which is this string right here okay so basically what this uh, prepare method is doing for us is that is giving us the uh, you know query statement but it's replacing the placeholders with the values that we have passed into this function okay so it's returning the query itself and then all we are doing is just doing a wpdb query we're using this query method we're passing this query this new query that we have got after using the prepare method we're passing this into wp query prepare query okay and then we are going to go ahead and insert this into the database so this is going to insert us insert the uh, these values into a, the database for us and it's just going to return true so result will be equal to true which is one in case if it's successfully inserted so let's try that so if you can see if you down there the id post id is 10 meta key is harry's ages i don't know if you can see that and WordPress data so meta value is this okay so it's been inserted into WP post meta table of WordPress okay and if you check we've got one as a result which means true it's been inserted so re echo result is true okay brilliant so that's about it then um, so we've understood that how prepare method of the WPDB, uh, WPDB class help us to prepare the statement for us uh, which is very important for the data validation all right so thank you very much guys if you like the video please uh, subscribe and uh, watch more for new videos thank you very much take care goodbye